Values. In the last video, we explored how to create an activity diary. We also had a look at how this can link in with your sense of achievement, closeness to others and enjoyment. In this video, we'll now be looking at how we can translate our values into activities that are meaningful to you. People around us, from family and friends to what we see in social media, tells us to set goals in the hope to achieve happiness and contentment. Get those exam grades, get that driver's license, get that job, earn X amount of money, go on this holiday. Do any of these sound familiar? Of course, goals are important to have as it can provide you with a focus and a roadmap to your destination. You'll most likely feel some form of happiness and joy about achieving your goal, but how long will it be before you start looking at the next goal to accomplish? And the one after that? You might start to get frustrated at the different challenges that could get in your way and ultimately lose your motivation. However, even though you may feel frustrated at these challenges, if your goals are aligned with your personal values, they can help you enjoy the journey regardless of how quickly you reach your goals. So, what are values? Values are what we feel are most important and matter to us individually. It's what we feel gives us a purpose in life. There's no point in doing lots of activities in which you don't feel a sense of achievement, closeness to others or enjoyment. It's unlikely to encourage motivation and make you feel any better. It's helpful to explore what values we have because we can come up with related goals that fit with them. This will help to determine your priorities, how you want to live now and in the future. Our life is made up of so many different areas that make us who we are. It can be helpful to reflect and identify our position in each area. These areas include family relationships. What kind of relationships do you want with your family? What's important to you about a good family? Mental slash emotional health. What helps you maintain sound mental health? Why is this important to you? World issues. What world affairs or issues are you interested in? How can you be involved? You can make similar reflections about yourself in relation to any of these other life areas shown. The values that we have may fit in a few or many of these life areas. Let's bring in our friend Stacy. Stacy, what values resonate with you? I guess from all of these values, I think trust, love and creativity are most important to me. Okay, great. We all have values that are different from each other. Let's have a look at one of these values and check out why it's important to Stacey. Love. Hmm. Recently, things have been a bit tricky. I've just moved to a new house with my parents and my younger brother, which means that I've had to move to a new school too. On top of that, my workload has increased in the run-up to my GCSEs and we've all just been having lots of arguments so I don't feel as close to my family or like they understand me. That sounds quite challenging for you, Stacey. It might be helpful to think about how we can strengthen your value of love with all these things going on. To do this, let's first have a look at the different life areas. What common life area does love fit in for you, Stacey? I guess this fits into family relationships and friendships. Right, that makes sense. So what kind of relationship do you want to have with your family, Stacey? What kind of a friend would you like to be? I would like to feel more relaxed with my family and laugh more. I would also like to be a closer, more supportive friend. Because I've been so busy, I just feel like I haven't really been there for them. So what do we do with our values? Okay, so now that we've had a look at different types of values and the common areas of life that these could apply to, what next? What do you do with it? We can now start to have a think about how to incorporate these values into your day-to-day -day life. The idea is to start to do activities that are in line with your values. These activities will need to be realistic and achievable. For example, you might aim to cook a simple meal that is easy to do rather than a more complex Michelin star dish. Or, you may want to start off with a 10 minute brisk walk rather than attempt a 10 mile run. Don't set yourself up to fail. Remember, 
Through small steps, you can build your activity over time. Don't rush the process. Enjoy the journey along the way. Let's come back to Stacy. Earlier, we saw Stacy focus on love as a value. A related goal that Stacy could start off with might be to tell a family member something positive. Stacy could then actively strengthen this value in her next related goal by scheduling in protected time to spend with her family. In relation to Stacy's friendships, she could start off by scheduling 10 to 15 minutes in her day to check in on her friends via call or text. This timing could gradually increase and perhaps lead to a goal of inviting a friend over for a movie. It might feel easier for Stacy to prioritise what goals she thinks she would be able to attempt first, so that the prospect of completing these activities feels less overwhelming. Being in touch with the things you value allows you to keep the sense of satisfaction of achieving your goals. It also maintains the long-lasting sense of fulfilment that comes from living your values every step of the way towards your goals, even when you don't achieve them. So when you get a spare moment or two, have a think about what values matter to you and how you might translate these into activities that work towards your goals. This video was created by the Tower Hamlets Education Wellbeing Service. Thanks for watching.